Hey everyone, it's Kristen. I'm here with a BookCon slash BEA haul, and it's going to be all the books on this one. Um, I could do one with like the tote bags, the posters, the bookmarks, the things, um, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm just going to do books on this and show you what books I got and what book I got signed because I brought some books to get signed, which is probably where I'm going to start with because the main person that I was wanted to see and the most important thing for me going into BookCon was to meet David Levithan and have him sign some of my books. David Levithan's books uh, were very important to me when I was in high school. Boy Meets Boy and Realm of Possibility was, um, and then Will Grayson, Will Grayson was when I read it in college as well. So, yeah, his books have always been very important for me um, as I was growing up, and I've never met him before. And so I was super excited to get the opportunity to finally meet him and also get some of my books signed. So I got my high school book that I've had since high school, Realm of Possibility, um, signed by him, and it was signed to me, and I'm really excited about it. And then Will Grayson, Will Grayson, I got signed to myself and my boyfriend Aaron. Uh, he signed it to both of us, and so, yeah, he signed it to Aaron and Chris. And I was super excited that uh, I was able to do that, and Aaron was really happy about it, because Aaron likes what David Love on a lot, too, so... I, that was like kind of my main person that I wanted to see. It was like if I could, could do anything, like the first person I got in line in for an autograph was David Levithan. And I knew I was like, I'm getting there. I need to get that. I don't care how much my feet hurts, I'm getting here. <laughs> um, and, I, and he also gave out galleys during that signing as well. And so we got the 12 Days of Dash and Lily, which is a sequel to Dash and Lily's Book of Dares, which I listened to on audiobook. Decided to actually read this one physical copy. And he signed that as well. So. Super, super duper excited that I finally met him and just told him how much his book made to me. I, 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 very briefly, because we had to keep going, but yeah, it, it's like this is something that I was really happy that I was able to do. Um, after that, oh, before that, actually, um, the Property Brothers had their signing and I went and got their book, Dream Home. And I've already started reading this. I'm actually going to finish it probably in the next couple of days. Because I didn't actually get this for me. I got it for my mom. My mom and I watch HGTV together all the time. We've, uh, my mom, my sister, and I always watch HGTV together. And so we've watched all their shows. And we just love their show. They're so funny. And their book is really funny too. Like while being extremely informative. And I'm planning on... Um, getting married next year. We're getting married next year. And then after that, we're going to probably figure out uh, moving and housing things. And then we want to adopt kids. So this is a very good book to kind of get information about the market, uh, buying market and what to look for when you're getting ready to buy your first house and all these different things like that. So I'm reading it, taking some notes, and then I'm going to give this to my mom because she's super excited that I got it for her. She didn't even know I was going to get it for her. Um, so... Yeah, I'm like the best son ever right now. Anyway, <laughs> next I'm going to go ahead and grab this because it's right here. And this is a bunch of samplers from Image Comics, I think. And I've read all of this all samples already. Uh, the thing about comics is I feel like I don't really get super interested in comics unless they have queer characters. I don't know why that's saying. Like I, I have like a webcomic series on this channel where I talk about queer webcomics. Um, and I don't know. It's not girl. Not really feeling it that much and the, the one story in here called the throwaways did seem kind of interesting it was like a sci-fi cold war era type of thing with some scientifically enhanced humans i'm just kind of like okay that one sounded a bit interesting um but i don't know okay we're gonna go ahead and do some samples Let's go through some samplers we got the car for the mark sampler veronica roth i never actually read Veronica Roth's other series, The Divergent Series, I think it is. I've never read that series. I watched one of the movies. It's a pretty good movie. But I never actually read the series. Um, so I'll check out the sampler and hope we'll see how I feel about that. I have samplers from Tim Allen Eskins. And I met him and he signed this for me, which is really cool. And it's samples from each of his, from four of his different novels. And so I'm very excited to read this and see how I like them. He explained one of the novels to me and I was like, oh, that sounds really good. So <laughs> I'm excited for that. And, of course, Something in Between by Melissa Taylor Cruz, which is another signed sampler. It's the first 
a uh, few chapters of her Melissa de la Cruz's upcoming book. Really love Melissa de la Cruz. If you don't know this, she wrote The Isle of the Lost and this, The Descendants. She has some play into that as well. That movie is like one of my favorite movies, probably. It's just, I love the, uh, it's one of my most recent favorite D Disney Channel original movies because I like a lot of the older ones, but this one was, was really good to me and I really enjoyed it. So, I'm really excited um, to see what she does in a different genre completely. Um, so yeah, she signed it to me. I also, this was in Harlequin book section. And so after I got the sign, I got to spin a wheel to get a prize and I got the everything prize. So they gave me a tote bag within the tote bag that had more stuff in it. And I think I'm gonna give a lot of it to my sister. It's like these cute pencils and notebooks and things like that. And it's, it's stuff that I think she'll like essentially. So um, probably can give that to her. And I might, might also give her the something in between poster as well. Um, so yeah. This is the Fall and Winter 2016 sampler for the University of Nebraska Press uh, and Pot Potomac Books. And this, I've already sure it's jumped into as well. This has a bunch of different nonfiction um, essays in the book. And uh, there's some environmental issue ones and there's some other issues. The one that I already started reading is Haters, Har uh, Haters Harassment, Abuse, Viol and Violence Online. There's a section in within that on cyber sexism and different things like that. And it's just so freaking interesting. I literally picked this up, started flipping through, found that section and just sat and started reading it. So yeah. I think I already showed this in a video. It is the City Likes Pocket Poets Anthology. I got this on the, uh, yeah, I showed it on my BEA Friday Reads thing because I got this at BEA. Um, when I was volunteering, I just picked it up, and this is Pocket po Poets Anthology, a bunch of different poets from different people, and I am excited for it. Definitely going to do like a poetry book review of this one when I'm done with it, and just kind of tell you how I felt about the poetry overall, and which ones are my favorite, and things like that. Also, I just really picked, liked this cover, and that's probably why I picked it up, just the, the writing on that. It, it's just, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> Mary Manners Wisdom Tree. So someone just kind of handed me this book. I think it's, I thought that was Christian fiction, which is not really my genre. So I'm probably going to give this to my mom or someone in the building. We'll see. I might like just might go put it in the building library and see if anyone takes it after a couple days or not. I'll give it to my mom. Um, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Next is a book that I got to do a dare to do, where they walked past this person who was like, hey, do a dare and get a free book. And I was like, okay, it depends on the dare. But I was like, I'm probably going to do it. Let's be real. So I did the dare. <laughs> um, and then I got picked out this book because it sounds so interesting, Octavia Birds. And what sounds interesting about it is it's science fiction stories from social justice movements. That's all I need to know to know that I was getting this book. Like, I was like, nope, mine. Gotta go. I wish I had stayed to see what some of the other dares were because I did it. I just took this book and left. I was like, after I did my dare, I was like, I want this. Um, so yeah, super excited for this. All right, next up is the Della or Dila books. I don't really know how you pronounce her name, but we're gonna just go with it. And for her, from her, I got the this book called The Fifty Second. Is book sounds really interesting to me because Mayan slash Aztec history. It's basically about this family that um, takes. Every 52 years is fit the woo. Every two 52 years, the underworld gets 52 sacrifices. Still, even after the fall of the Aztec and Maya Empire, and this there's a family that handles the sacrifices. And finally, on this but on this day, the 52nd sacrifice survives because of some interference before between a guy and the family. And the gods are very angry that they're not getting their sacrifice. So this book is sounds really crazy and really cool and I really love it so I'm just like yes I want to read this and so I went ahead and got it <laughs> um and I also got a sampler because of buying it I think of a different story which is like a contemporary romance called Seat 2A event it's like an event sneak peek about a girl and a guy who meet on a plane sitting next to each other um so yeah I forgot a sampler, and that is the Stingray City sampler and the Peculiar Hunting of Thelma B, which I think is like a middle grade book about a young girl who's logical and some peculiar things are happening. Um, so yeah, these two sound really interesting. All the facts in the Stingray City are true facts, and so I'm like, that sounds really cool. So I can't wait to read these samplers and see how I'm if I'm going to be interested in getting these books. And I got Kieran and Andrew by L.A. Gilbert. This is actually on my want to read list, and it was in their free book stacks. Like, I've had this book, I've, I've known about this book, and I wanted to read it for a while. Um, 
and it was just in their free book stack so that you could buy grab and I was like I saw it and I was like this because I'm like I've wanted to read this for a while so we decided to have this now it's about this guy named Karen and Drew in their high school they both have very not great high school experiences I guess you could say one's super closeted and has some issues at home the other one has issues at home and in school and they start a relationship but it's, it's kind of like one of those will the relationship be able to continue once high school ends type of thing um once they do get together so i'm super excited to actually read this and yeah i found some query lights so i'm very happy about that i also got another book from next session by joanna parkers and she signed it to me and she wrote like a little note it was really cool because we talked for a little bit uh, and she just wrote like a little note about telling me to keep writing essentially um, and signed it, and that was really cool. And this is a book is about two guys as well, and one's closeted and be is also like a hockey player, I believe, because we got this hockey stick pencil thing as well. So, <laughs> and it actually looks pretty short, and I'm really excited to read this one because I'm thinking I'm gonna like it a lot actually. So. Alright, next up, a book that was literally given to me by another person at the con. Um, she was walking by and was like, hey, does anyone want this book? And it is Dorothy Must Die, Stories Volume 2. I was like, I'll take it. Um, yeah, I love Daniel Page, and I have, I wanted to continue reading some of these. I've read the first book, and I've read the first three of the this volumes, like the first three stories, so like the novellas. And so here I got the other three novellas. And I'm very excited because it's the Tin Man, the Scarecrow, and the Cowardly Lion um, are the ones in this little collection. So I'm very excited to read it. The last two books are things I picked up when I was on my way off the show floor. I wanted to stop by Quirk Books because I'd seen it before and had not stopped there. And so I stopped there and I ended up buying a book. And that was Pop Sonics because I saw Pop Sonics and was just like, I really, really want this. Um, and they were really cool because they gave it to me for a little bit less than it was supposed to be because they're awesome <laughs> and, and I didn't really have that much money left um so that was awesome they gave it to me and if you don't know what pop songs is it's basically pop songs but in the form of Shakespearean sonnets um like I see oh man I see Jesse's girl I see oops I did it again Got some TLC in here with No Scrubs. You got CeeLo Greens, F.U. You got We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together by Taylor Swift. This is pretty awesome. So I'm really excited I got this. And when I got this, I also picked up one more book from them. And it was, oh, this is upside down. It is The Secret Lives of Great Authors. Um, and you got some stuff from Byron. We got some Hemingway. We got some Louisa May, uh, um, <laughs> Louisa May in here. And we got some, a lot of people. So yeah, it looks like J.D. Salinger, Jack Kerak. This should be really cool. Um, I like the style of the artwork on the cover. So yeah, I'm really excited to read this. And there's some other books they have in the style from that um, publisher as well. So I'm really excited to read these. All right, that's it for this book haul. I had a really great time at BookCon. And I'm really excited to read all these books. I hope I get to go to another BookCon. Probably not next year because wedding is going to be happening next year and um but yeah definitely hoping to be able to go again in the in, the, in some one of the next few ones hopefully um hopefully the one after next year i'll be able to go to even if it is in new york that'd be really cool because i've actually been to new york new york i've been to like outside places in new york so that could be cool and i really enjoy that for sure um but yeah i am done this video has probably been too long so i'm just gonna say bye